Welcome back. It is Thursday here on the 7 on 8, and that means one thing. It is Ask Ellen. Once a week, we're taking viewer questions. She's answering them. Yes. I'm just delivering them. And, of course, explaining the finer things in terms of weather. This week, we are focused on our not-so-snowy winter. Here's what Leon asked. How much snow would we have seen if all of the rain we've had this winter would have fallen as snow? All right, Lindsay. So for this one, I wanted to grab a few props because I think it really helps to tell the story. It's kind of a tricky question, so let's go ahead and start from the beginning. In order for you to see snow, we have to have moisture inside the air mass. But different air masses hold different amounts of water. A warm air mass can hold way more water than a cold air mass. So even if they were to both travel over the same moisture source and soak up water, the warm air mass would hold way more. And even if these both traveled over West Michigan, the warm air mass would dump way more moisture onto our state than the cold air mass ever could because it physically can't hold that much water. So you can't just look at a precipitation total like two and a half inches of rain and say, oh, how much snow would that be? Because the cold air mass probably couldn't even hold two and a half inches worth of rain in it. The next thing we have to talk about is the rain to snow ratio. Basically, how much water makes how much snow. This isn't a number set in stone. In fact, the rain to snow ratio can vary widely depending on current conditions. Get this, sometimes an inch of water can make as little as two inches of sleet or as much as 50 inches of very dry fluffy snow. Usually in the U.S., one inch of rain makes about 13 inches of snow, according to the National Severe Storms Laboratory. So you can see, like a huge yeah. range. So there's a lot that we have to look at when we're making a snow forecast, not mm -hmm. just like how much water is coming, but when it'll fall, and how that will fall in terms of the ratio. But just for fun, let's go ahead and oversimplify things and say that the air mass or the current conditions didn't matter. So let's just pick the 13 to 1 ratio and convert all the water we've seen into snow. So far this meteorological winter, we've seen about 7.81 inches of water. So in a super simplified world, mm -hmm. this would have given us 101 inches of snow snow so far this winter. Wow. Yeah. Super interesting. Yeah, there's just so many variables that come into play. So it's fun that we get to do these Ask Ellen yeah. so you get a little sneak peek on that. Yeah. And great prop usage. Thank you. Of course. Did you expect anything less from Ellen? 